Hi friends. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the full moon, doing a full moon meditation and our moon salutations. There's a lot of energy and power around the full moon and it is a good time to harness some of that energy to let go of things that are not serving you in order to bring new things into your life. So doing a simple meditation, you can use a candle for reflection, you can use a moonstone or other stone that may be um, good for you. And the meditation can be as simple as thinking of those things that you would like to let go of and maybe setting the intention for the things that you want to bring into your life. So just taking a comfortable seat with that breath work and seated meditation and that could be your practice so using the candle using your breath work maybe having that moonstone or something as a focal point as well and then with our moon salutations so that is less of the sun salutations and that um, sun energy of the vinyasa and more of a heated practice with the moon salutations being more of that cooling, calming um, energy of the moon that is more nurturing and taking that um, calming practice. And so that's why it's good to have both those um, moon and the sun salutation practices and you will see a couple different things for moon salutations i sort of make my own mix of things from that um, and so we're just going to go through a few of those today so i start um, you can start standing you can start um, seated i will begin in a table just moving through with some hip circles and some cat and cow just beginning to warm up my body before we move to standing so finding that table again i use a blanket underneath of my knees you want to really feel that length in your spine and feel that your weight is spread evenly through your hands and as you do these circles here, they could be as big or as small as you'd like. Just moving through your head and your neck, taking those circles in both directions. And then doing a few cat and cow stretches. So tucking toes under, drop your belly, lift your head as you inhale, exhale, release your feet, round your back, scoop your belly always letting your breath guide your movement at your pace. So I'll do one more here. And then making our way into our downward facing dog, just pedaling heels into the mat, maybe shaking your head yes and no. And then making our way to a forward fold. And then slowly rolling up. So finding Tadasana, standing tall and strong. Inhale, reaching arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center, down to the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold, lifting up inhale reach exhale hands through forehead center heart center down to the mat inhale exhale lifting up into chair we'll do one more just warming up our bodies a little bit and then bringing our hands to our heart taking our temple mudra as we inhale lifting up exhale over to the side taking our standing Ardha Chandrasana half moon. So maybe picturing the crescent moon shape that you're making with your body as you gently energize your lateral body moving side to side. And then stepping out into our warrior two and external rotation, protecting your knee reaching arms out so just find that balance between effort and ease 
settling in here, and then straighten your front leg as you reach forward, find Trikonasana, triangle. You can bring your hand to the block here, so it doesn't have to reach the mat or your leg. Stacking your shoulders, lengthening through both sides of your body. Use your legs, use your core, come back up through our warrior two. And then bringing your feet and hips parallel, reaching up and then pulling down. So doing a few of these moonflower plie squats here. We'll do one more. So pausing here. Strengthen your legs in your core, connected to your breath. And then we'll slowly fold forward. You can walk your hands out in front. You can bring them back behind you. You can do a little lunge side to side. And then slowly roll up. And then take that Vira Vajrasana two on the other side. Settling in for a couple of breaths. Stira and the Sukha, effort and ease. Keep breathing deeply. And then straighten that front leg, reach, finding Trikonasana. And wherever your hand reaches, the focus is less on how far down to the mat we can get and more on stacking shoulders and lengthening through both sides of your body. And coming back up through our warrior two. And then again, reaching in our five pointed star, hinging forward, stop halfway with the flat back arms out in front or by your sides and then releasing hands to the mat or to the blocks reaching one arm up for a twist less twist lift up onto the block more twist maybe coming over to that opposite ankle and then back through center and then taking that twist to the other side And then back to center, bending both legs, coming into that malasana, our deep squat. Again, you could stay lifted higher. You could sit on the blocks. You could move a little bit further into that pose. Just breathing deeply here. And then you can make your way down to the mat. Maybe taking that comfortable seat again or laying down. So just to short practice looking at a few ways to move through with your um, moon salutations or some poses to help during this time of the full moon and i invite you to take some time for that meditation or reflection and just thinking about what it is that you would like to let go of and what you would like to bring into your life with this next phase that we're moving into if you are using any of your stones or crystals, this is also a really good time to cleanse them. So the full, full moon is cleansing for our bodies. It's also cleansing for those other um, energy tools that we may, may use to help us in our practice. So thank you for taking a few minutes here with me today. I hope you find this helpful. Namaste.